Hi, welcome to this tutorial where I'm assuming that you're familiar with this result that concerns the modulus and argument of two complex numbers, say Z1, Z2, where you multiply them and where you divide them. If you're unsure of this result though, you can always check out this link here and it will run through the proof of these results. But what I want to do here in this video is just give you three questions to try. I've selected these questions because I feel that they reflect all the properties that you need to know essentially about using this result. So do have a go at this. You might like to just pause the video, come back when ready and you can check your answers. Or if you want to select any one of these solutions just click on the buttons down here and it will take you to that work solution. Okay, well, I'll give you a few moments anyway just to pause the video and uh, then select which question you want. Now, for the solution of A, what we've got then is that Z1 multiplied by Z2, if we're going to put this in mod arg form, then the modulus of Z1 times Z2 is given by this result. It's the product of the moduli of each of the complex numbers Z1 and Z2. So that's going to be 6 times 2. I know that's going to be 12, but I'll just put it in as 6 times 2 for the time being. And then we multiply this by the cosine, or cos for short, of the arg of Z1, Z2. And the arg of Z1, Z2 is the same as the individual args added together. So that's going to be pi upon 12 plus 2 thirds pi. So we'll have that then as pi upon 12 plus 2 thirds pi. And we've also got plus i sine of that arg as well. So that's going to be again the same angle, pi upon 12 plus 2 thirds pi. Okay, so we're just finish that bracket off there. Now if we tidy this up, we've got 6 times 2, which is 12, and then we've got that this is all multiplied by the cosine of pi upon 12 plus 2 thirds pi. That comes to 3 quarters pi. So 3 pi over 4, or 3 quarters pi there. And the same here, only it's going to be plus i sine of 3 quarters pi. Now don't forget, this angle here is in radians, okay, so if you work this out, the cosine of 3 pi upon 4 is exactly minus root 2 over 2. And then here, the sine of 3 pi upon 4 is plus root 2 over 2, so you've got plus i times root 2 over 2. So that when we multiply through by 12, we end up with minus 6 root 2 and then plus i times 6 root 2. Okay, so hopefully that gives you an idea on part A then. Now for part B we've got to work out Z1 divided by Z3. And for this, I picked this one because you'll find that Z3 has got a negative here. And what I've given you up here are the results when we have a plus. Okay? So this is the point behind this question. We've got to modify Z3 first of all. Now we know that Z3 then is equal to 3 multiplied by the cosine. Okay, we'll just put this in brackets. Cosine of 5 pi upon 12 minus i sine of 5 pi upon 12. Now we need to change this then, and we should be familiar with the result that when we have a negative here, this is exactly the same as saying 3 times the cosine okay, of the negative of this angle, minus 5 pi upon 12, as I say, a result that we should be familiar, if not, just check out my tutorials on the mod arg form for this, okay? And then we've got plus, and then for this one it's 
plus i sine of the negative minus 5 pi over 12. Okay? So we've now got this in the right format. And when it comes to working out what z1 divided by z3 is, if we're to put this in mod arg form first of all, then the modulus is going to be the mod of z1 divided by the mod of z3, this result up here. And so the modulus of z1 is 6 and the modulus of z3 is 3. So we'll just write that as 6 over 3 for the moment. And then that is multiplied by the cosine of the arg for z1 divided by z3. And when we're dividing, this result here tells us that we subtract the args from one another. So we've got the arg of z1, which is pi upon 12, and we then subtract from this, okay, the arg for z3, which we've seen now, when it's in the right format, is minus 5 pi upon 12. So we've got pi upon 12 minus minus then 5 pi upon 12. So you've got to take care on that part there. And then it's plus I sine, and we do exactly the same angle again. Pi upon 12 minus minus 5 pi upon 12. And what does this give us? Well, 6 divided by 3 then here is clearly 2. And then we've got the cosine of pi upon 12 plus 5 pi upon 12, which is 6 pi upon 12, or pi upon 2. So you've got the cosine of pi upon 2 plus, and then the same again, only this time with sine, I sine, pi upon 2. And the cosine of pi upon 2 radians is 0. Sine of pi upon 2 radians is 1. So all you end up with is that this equals 2i. Okay? Now in part C for z1 times z3 divided by z2, I showed you that in part B, z3, because it was in the wrong format, it's got a minus here, we had to change it to a plus. I applied the rule that this was the same as the cosine of minus 5 pi upon 12 plus i sine minus 5 pi upon 12. A well-known result which if you're not familiar with you can always check out on my website okay just by looking on the mod arg form of a complex number. Well with that result we can now work out then z1 times z3 over z2 so we're going to have then therefore z1 times z3 all divided by z2 well first of all to put this then in mod arg form we need the mod of z1 times z3 over z2 so the mod of z1 times z3 is going to be the modulus by this result of the product of the individual moduli. So that's going to be 6 times 3, okay? 6 times 3 then for the first part. And then this is divided by the modulus for Z2, which is 2. And then with this, we multiply it by the cosine of the arg of this. Now it's going to be by a combination of these two results for Z1, Z3 we're just going to add the two args together and dividing by Z2 subtract the arg for Z2. So in other words we've got the cosine of for Z1 is going to be pi upon 12 and then we add this to the arg for z3 which was over here minus 5 pi upon 12 nearly made a mistake there so it's adding minus 5 pi upon 12 and then we've got to subtract the arg for z2 and that was 2 pi upon 3 so minus 2 pi upon 3 okay hope you got that and then plus i sine 
and then we've got the same arg again as we had here. Pi upon 12 then, plus minus 5 pi upon 12, minus 2 pi upon 3. OK? So if we clean this up, what we've got then is 18 divided by 2, which is clearly 9. And then we've got the cosine, cos for short. And if we do pi upon 12 minus 5 pi upon 12 minus 2 pi upon 3, that comes out to be minus pi. And then we've got plus i sine also of minus pi. And the cosine of minus pi, well that's minus 1. And the sine of minus pi, well that's 0. So you've just got a real value here, 9 times minus 1, which is minus 9. OK, so I hope that's given you an idea across all three questions and that it will give you enough to be able to do questions similar to this. Okay?